Welcome back to a new video. I hope you're all doing well and having a lovely one wherever you are in the world. In today's video, I thought I would do a little weekend with me. I was about to say happy Friday then, but it's actually Saturday. <laughs> I didn't film yesterday, but I'll leave a little, like some few clips on the screen here of what I got up to. I had my first date night with Jay. We went out for dinner. The only place we could get a reservation was GBK, which I'm not mad about because I love it there and had my first cocktail outside. I took my hot water bottle out with me and then the piers open in Brighton which I had no idea about so we went for a little like sunset walk on the pier looked at the rides didn't go on them because my goodness some of those rides on there are terrifying if you've ever been on the one at the end that like flips let me know because that one is honestly like we stood underneath it and I actually got a nervous tummy for the people going on it I just felt sick watching them but yeah that was so so lovely and then we came back and just watched a movie we watched Monst no lovers and monsters on Netflix and if you like kind of like warm bodies, like a really easy kind of sci-fi watch, then the humour, I just love those kind of films, like warm bodies. Um, I'm trying to think what else they're kind of similar to. Like the guy from Maze Runners in it, can't remember his name, but love him. And it's just a really like easy watch and there's just, yeah, it's just great. I really enjoyed it. I mean, watch the trailer to see if it's your kind of thing, but I loved it. And I was literally like sitting up in bed while watching it. I was getting so into it. It was great. But today and this morning I went out for a brunch with Chloe, which again was so, so lovely. Didn't really think we were going to get anywhere because we didn't book because it's almost impossible to book in Brighton at the moment, like find a table somewhere or find a spot. You just have to go. And a lot of the places that I love, like Fato Mano and places like that, you actually can't book. You just have to show up so we woke up early and went to six theaters which is in brighton by the pavilion and i had pancakes i'm gonna leave some pickies on the screen here but yeah just so lovely to catch up with her and we just sat for like an hour and chilled out and it was really really nice and i've just been at home for the majority of today literally doing the biggest clean of my life like i have anti-backed like hoobered everywhere like really needed to be done and yeah i'm glad that i did it but I thought I would start today's vlog, not just like standing chatting at you guys, but showing a few pieces that I was really, really kindly gifted from Revolve, but I thought it'd be a nice way to kind of share a few summer pieces. I'm not gonna like try any of like the dresses or things on, I'm just gonna try a few of the tops on. As you guys know that I don't like to like do a massive haul in my vlog videos, but they're just such gorgeous pieces and I'm just really excited to share with you guys. So in my last video if you watched it you will know i set up my second rail so i feel so much more organized now in my room so although it's still like a lot i have my blazer rail and then i have this is like my coat and new in rail now but it's got this little bit at the like floor here and i can just fit all my shoes which is just such a dream because originally they were just everywhere and i couldn't really get in anywhere and things like that and then this part of my rail is all like pieces that I want to style over the next coming weeks not all new in but lots of like pastels and colors that I'm really really loving so yeah I'm excited about that also excuse how like pale I am <laughs> while I'm showing you these because I have just scrubbed off my tan with the Bondi Sands eraser which I absolutely love and it's completely stripped my tan off ready for a new tan tomorrow night using my Isle of Paradise tan but yeah anyway some pastel pieces I'm really excited so I'm going to share a few pieces with you all one of these tops here as well which is gorgeous but yeah this top I'm currently wearing so first off this top here which is just a really lovely like classic halter neck top but it's a really nice stretch rib as well which I just thought would be super super lovely I think this was about 60 pounds maybe but I will leave links to everything down below obviously these are like higher price range design pieces but I always find that when you find like the nice pieces the quality of them is just gorgeous got a really nice kind of rope detailing there which just makes it super flattering on when I have a tan <laughs> I'm sure this is going to look a hell of a lot better but I'm just wearing my Levi jeans as well just in case you guys wondered my absolute fave 501 Levi jeans which I actually do need to get taken in slightly at the back because they're just a little bit too big I recommend if you're in between sizes a hundred percent size down in these babies because they come up a little bit big and I didn't know about that when I originally got them but yeah the top super cute just a classic black halter neck like nice back out which I just thought was really really lovely so next up 
this super cute cutout top. Again, I feel like I need my tan on. I feel so weird without my tan, so I should just probably leave it. It doesn't probably even look any different to you guys, but you know, and it's just, for you personally, you're like, I need my big tan on. It's my little comfort blanket. But this is gorgeous. I really love the cut and fit of this. I'd actually say it's a little bit bigger than I thought, so I would have probably gone down a size, but it's a really lovely, thick, like, stretch material, and I like how it, like, just sits nicely like that. It's just a really cute top, which I think will be really nice styling for like evenings out. If I wanted to have like black jeans, belt, like gold accessories and some heeled boots when it gets a bit warmer. Cause at the moment it's just like layering, <laughs> layering as much as possible for evenings. Like I'm constantly in like a jumper, blazer, leather jacket, coat, <laughs> just like layering on, not being able to show off like cute tops like this, which I actually miss so much. So fingers crossed we get a little heat wave soon, but yeah, super, super cute. Actually quite like it with the blue jeans as well, but let's go try on top number three. Okay, top number three is so freaking cute. How lovely is that? It's like a really loose kind of smock detailing and then it kind of comes in round here and these beautiful puff sleeves and wait till you see the back. How stunning is the back of that? Honestly, what a dream. I would not wear it with a black belt, but <laughs> just to show you guys, this is the cutest thing ever. I probably wear this with like a little skirt, some high top like Converse in cream or like my pink ones and then like a little bag, sunnies, a little cream blazer maybe over my shoulders, but this is definitely one of those tops that you really want to be able to kind of like show off the back for when it's definitely warmer, but also with blue jeans is really cute, just not with <laughs> the black belt on, but just absolutely stunning. Like the details of the sleeves are just beautiful. And then lastly, this really gorgeous blue rib top that has this like lovely kind of tie ruched part that you can basically pick and choose how you style the top, which I just love at the moment. So you can tie that and you have a little crop version or you can like pull it down a little bit and you've just got that really nice kind of ruched detailing at the side or just completely pull it down like that and give it a little tie up there as well but just super soft amazing like silky material it's just so so lovely and i love this color at the moment as well like with little denim shorts or with blue or black jeans it just goes really really nicely like these kind of blues or like neutral colors go really nicely together as well so that is my mini haul that i wanted to share with you guys so i'm gonna go do the food shop and then this evening i'm actually going to be going to the beach just to catch up and go for a walk with two of my old friends which i haven't seen i think i haven't seen them in about a year and a half so that will be really, really lovely. We were gonna go and sit somewhere and have a drink, but I just don't think it's gonna be possible. And I don't really feel 100% confident. Like I don't wanna go to a pub at all. Like sounds like my worst nightmare, but I literally just don't wanna be anywhere like that. So I think we're gonna go sit on the beach probably later. So I'll take you guys along for that as well. It's such a nice day outside. I don't know if you can see just how bright and sunny it is. But yeah, I'm gonna go do that now and I will catch up with you guys when I'm back. It is now Monday. I have just got up and got ready. I was up from like five this morning because the sun rose so early, but it was so, so lovely. Just like laying in bed and like chilling out and easing my way into the week. But today is Monday and it's all very exciting. I've got a very busy week, which I'm excited to take you guys along with me. I'll probably do like two parts. So continue on from the weekend now and then I'll probably stop on Wednesday and continue another one then. But anyway, very exciting. I'm off to get my hair done today, get rid of these roots and actually I think I'm going to be getting side bangs slash 
quite a big fringe so i'm excited about that i don't know how it's gonna look i've been trying to like test it out but i'm just gonna go for it i feel like it's nice to have a change i'm gonna go a lot shorter and yeah i'm so so excited to go and do that but this morning i'm heading into london quite early i've got some returns to do I'm gonna browse h&m and zara because there's a few things i've seen online like jean wise that i really want to kind of get my hands on because i've been struggling lately to like find a pair of like white jeans that are the right fit and I can't seem to like online I'm finding it quite hard to like grasp which one I want so I'm gonna go in and hunt for some white jeans that is the plan this morning and then me and Kirsty are gonna meet in a park and get some lunch can get my hair done I'm just so excited to take you guys along with me I've actually put in my fifth aligner today so I'm on number five now which is mad like I literally have three more on the top and then I have ten on the bottom so oh no nine on the bottom so really going a lot faster than I ever expected but I've got my checkup soon so this is the one that then I'd have my checkup to get my number six put in in a week and a half so all very exciting just getting used to like how tight they are today so it's good that I've kind of got my mask on for most of the day as you can see when I'm talking it's a bit like at first but that's because i've just put them in but um yeah that is the plan this morning I'm gonna head in and i'll take you guys along with me so guys it's now 12 30 i'm in london with kp we just um I literally just did a return in Selfridges. I actually did do a mini shop in Zara and H&M, which I will show you tomorrow. Just some little bits, which, yeah, just some like summer bits. And then we're just having a little break. I'm having a matcha iced vanilla oat latte. Got that out right then. <laughs> <laughs> Takes me ages to get it right. And then, yeah, I'm just having a little egg mayo. Classic from Pratt. But um, yeah, that's what we're up to. We're just catching up. And then, yeah, I've got my hair at two. So that's what we're doing. And then probably take a little outfit pic for KP in a cute coat and hat. And yeah, <laughs> I'll take you guys along. the next day sorry i didn't speak to you guys yesterday i literally got the train home and then did so much admin and sorting of my bedroom and i just forgot to pick up the camera but it is now i was gonna say wednesday it's definitely tuesday <laughs> but my hair is done i am literally so so happy with it i did curl it this morning with my ghd like creative curl one just to add like a little bit more volume to the curls because they'd gone a bit flat where i'd fallen asleep but i am literally so happy with the fringe my parting goes like naturally to the side and I feel like if I had it middle this side of the fringe would be a lot better because he cut it with a middle parting so I'm gonna like mess around with my Dyson I think tomorrow and like my parting but I'm just so happy with being so much blonder as well a lot of you guys are actually asking over on my Instagram like ha what I ask for when I go so I'm just gonna quickly mention for anyone that does care about what I get done but I literally went for and what I asked for which I'll leave on a little like Pinterest board on the screen here I showed my hairdresser this and I said can I go like more of a creamy pearly blonde so I used to go like an ash white blonde which is more grey and a bit more of a like dull down blonde but I went for a pearly creamy blonde all over like even in my roots like not scattered I just wanted it like full on as much as I could just to really brighten my hair and then I did that all over and got a blunt cut all the way around directly onto my shoulders so I always get a blunt cut like here 
I'm always like, don't do it higher than my shoulders and don't do it lower than my shoulders. And then I had to have like a little bit more of a shape built in with the side bangs. So I got side bangs directly in line with my cheekbones and then I just had a tiny bit of like a small bit of layering around my face because otherwise it wouldn't kind of go in <laughs> to the hairline nicely but that is what I asked for and I just had like a little Pinterest board you can actually see my hair Pinterest board over my Pinterest so I'll leave my Pinterest down below in case you want to see what I was pinning and what I kind of showed my hairdresser but super super happy and yeah I did obviously go shopping yesterday my battery is flashing at me but there's going to be a haul on that just after this video of the pieces that I got from Zara so I don't want to spoil that and I'm going to be one of those people that's so annoying that's like I'm going to show it in that video but I know I've already done like a mini haul at the start of this vlog so I'm going to leave this video here and I'm going to start another vlog for the rest of the week because I feel like we've maybe hit the 30 minute mark now so I will speak to you guys in the next video but thanks so much for watching and coming along with me to London it's been so nice to vlog again and pick up the camera and just feel like I'm having fun with it again and yeah I can't wait to take you guys along on more fun days so I'll see you in the next video lots of love guys Mwah. bye